How's it going boys and girls? Today we're gonna make some concrete dumbbells out of concrete mix and water and then we'll make them and then we'll use them to make some gains. I wanted to make this because one I want a home gym and weights are actually really expensive like at least like a dollar per pound of weight which is kind of a lot. Also I didn't make this design it's actually from this channel so thanks to him. So I'm going to make a 20 pound dumbbell roughly and a 30 pound dumbbell roughly because I do not have a scale. So I'm just going to feel it out. So let's start. So what you're going to need is only about four things. So I have an 80 pound bag of concrete mix, uh, four of these paint buckets. They're five quarts, four of them, and then eight of these nails. They're about four or five inches long. All you have to do is make sure that they will fit inside of this bucket. And then a drill press, and then a hacksaw or something to cut uh, PVC with. And then you'll need this PVC pipe. I got the one inch, the one inch grip. So that's supposed to make your grip strength better if you want, unless you could get uh, three quarters of an inch and that would be easier to hold you might be able to do more reps But if you want to increase your grip strength, you can get a bigger bigger handle like this Okay, so to make the 20 pound dumbbell I'm gonna put about 10 9 or 10 pounds of concrete into this bucket Okay, so I poured out that concrete it wasn't easy but it feels about 10 pounds and maybe a little less. We will be adding water. So I think that will add some weight, I'm pretty sure. So in case you don't have a scale as well, it's filled up to about 1.5 quarts on this exact bucket. But so, okay, so now we add water and we'll add it. Okay, so this actually says three quarts for 80 pounds. So since I'm doing 10 pounds in here, I will do one eighth of three quarts. Okay, so I got about a little bit less than a third of a quart because you can always add more water, you can't really take it out. So now we mix it up. It's like pretty moist, but not soup, soupy, but it's not totally dry. Should be able to mix it around and kind of, if you like push it in one spot, it'll like stay there. So yeah, but look up, I'll show some pictures on what's about right. For the 30 pound dumbbell, since there's kind of a lot of concrete in here, what I'm gonna do is put half in another bucket and then put half the water in, mix it up, and then put the other half of the concrete in, and then put half the water. That should make it a lot easier to mix. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut my PVC down to a manageable length, probably like four feet. Okay, so now I got my PVC down to a manageable length. Now I'm gonna stick it in there, right in the middle. Once it's kind of settled down, take the flat end, and we'll put it right in the middle, and kind of wiggle it so it's totally flat against the bottom now we know how deep it is so now we'll get a comfortable grip and then do this same length on this side as well okay so I got this marked out and so now we're gonna drill two perpendicular holes that the nails will fit through just barely fit through and it'll be nice and snug in there okay now let's put these nails in Okay, so now we got these nails in. And now we will basically do what we just did. Okay, so now that it's setting, we wait a full day. All right, so it's been a full day, so let's see if we can get these open. Now, so it's been 24 hours. They're not fully dry yet, so you can't really drop it and it'll, cause it'll break. But it looks pretty cool. 
So now, of course, the next step is to do exactly the same thing, just on the opposite side of the PVC. All right, boys and girls, we have made some dumbbells out of concrete. This is just pretty cool, to be honest. Well, I hope you enjoyed and have a good day.